Hey guys, and welcome back to Latin Nation. Up next, we visit the LA Conservation Corps, the nation's largest urban organization of its kind. It exists because of the concern that one in five of LA's inner city young adults is both out of work and out of school, whether it's because of a lack of resources or a criminal record. So the LA Conservation Corps gives these young people an opportunity to improve their circumstances while they heal their communities through green jobs and vocational training in alternative energy. Now that's innovation that we can get behind and something we are proud to present right here on Latin Nation. My name is Justin Lee. I'm the Director of Corps Member and Community Engagement here at the LA Conservation Corps. So the LA Conservation Corps is a youth workforce development agency. It's been around for over 30 years. We work in the city and county of LA as a second chance program for young adults ages 18 to 24. So they're able to come and get basic work experience and also their high school diploma if they come to us without one. We focus mostly on like the soft skills, so our education department provides them the opportunity to get their high school diploma. Work department focuses on like the hard skills and then our um, core member development department focuses really on the soft skills, the resume building, the interview skills, um, the career exploration, exposure to higher education. Um, all of those little things that may not be included on their day-to-day -day, um, tasks, we really focus on those um, aspects of their experience here. So we focus primarily on what we call the green sector. Uh, we have a green career pathways model that we hope to place core members who go through our program in a green job. So that can be anything in the construction field, that can be energy related, um, that could be manufacturing, land management, zero waste. So that's really our goal because that's our core competency as an organization. All the work projects that they uh, work on throughout their time here are all conservation related. LA is a very complex um, city as far as like our education system and so when you look at the statistics um, a couple years ago it was one in um, five students drops out of high school and so LAUSD has really um, had a challenge with getting our our community to graduate high school. I mean we're a second chance program and so we're trying to give another opportunity to someone who may not have completed high school or maybe from a low-income community maybe they were in the foster care uh, system, maybe they were previously incarcerated. So really just giving them a second chance and again putting them putting them to work, getting them a paycheck, getting them experience into something that they may not have been afforded the opportunity. We rely a lot on our community partners both for resources for our young people, be it transportation related, housing, child care, um, anything related to addressing a barrier that they may have that would impede their success. But then also we rely a lot on employer partners to hire our young people. So that could be anything related to a job or an internship once they finish our program. But then it can also be something related to um, just giving back to them while they're here with us. So a speaking engagement, we have a, an employer advisory board that they come and talk to us about trends in the industry, qualifications that are needed, job openings. Uh, we also have a college and career fair every year. And so we have uh, both colleges and employers come to us to essentially recruit for uh, positions that they have available. Every community is different, and LA is a very interesting place to, to work. I mean, especially with our population, they face a lot of different barriers that maybe other major cities wouldn't, um, primarily around transportation. But just seeing the impact of the work that we do in a place that really doesn't have a lot of green space and trying to create that uh, is pretty amazing. 